Welcome back to The Rich Life. My name is Aaron, and before we get started, don't forget to click like and subscribe for your daily dose of your favorite celebrity content. Now let's get to it. Bear Grylls has become one of the most worldwide known and recognized faces of survival and outdoor adventure. Trained from a young age in martial arts, Grylls went on to spend three years as a soldier in the British Special Forces as part of a 21 SAS regiment. It was here that he perfected many of the survival skills that his fans all over the world enjoy as he pits himself against the worst of mother nature. Bear Grylls is a British adventurer and writer who has a net worth of 25 million Dollars. Bear Grylls is best known for his television series Mad vs Wild, a show known as Born Survivor Bear Grylls in the United Kingdom which ended in 2011. Known for his passion for the outdoors and survival in the wild, he was appointed the youngest ever Chief Scout, head of the Scout Association at the age of 35. Edward Michael Grylls was born on June 7, 1978 in London, England. He grew up in Donaghadee, Northern Ireland until the age of 4 when his family moved to Isle of Ray. From an early age, his father taught him how to climb and sail. As a teenager, he took up skydiving and, and earned a second black belt in Shotokan Karate. Grylls studied at the Eaton House, Ludgrove School, and Eaton College. He was part of the group of students who started Eaton's first mountaineering club. He studied Spanish and German at the University of West of England and at the University of London. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in Hispanic studies in 2002. After graduating, he went on to mountain hiking in the Himalayan mountains in West Bengal and Sikkim. Grylls served in the British Army Reserves from 1994 to 1997. He was a trooper trained in the unarmed combat, desert warfare, winter warfare, explosives, parachuting, survival, and climbing. He was stationed in North Africa twice as a survivalist. His time in the Army Reserves ended when he was in a free fall parachuting accident in Kenya. His parachute didn't open and he broke three vertebrates. Grills entered television work with the appearances as an advertisement for deodorant featuring his ascent of Mount Everest. Grills filmed a four part TV show in 2005 called Escape to the Legion, which followed Grills and 11 other recruits as they took part in a shortened recreation of the French Foreign Legion's basic desert training in the Sahara. Grills has been a guest on numerous talk shows on both sides of the pond, including The Oprah Winfrey Show, Late Night with Conan O'Brien, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Late Show with David Letterman and Jimmy Kimmel Live. He also starred in several other reality series including Bear Grylls Wild Weekends, Bear Grylls Baking Point, Bear Grylls Mission Service, Bear Grylls Survival School, The Island with Bear Grylls, Running Wild with Bear Grylls, and more. He's also executive produced the television series Bear Grylls Mission Service and The Island with the Bear Grylls. Grylls hosted a series titled Born Survivor Bear Grylls in the UK, Man vs Wild in Australia, New Zealand, Canada, India, and in the United States, Ultimate Survival in Europe, Asia, and Africa, and the series featured Featuring girls dropped into inhospital places, showing viewers how to survive. In 2012, Girls was fired by the Discovery Channel after a dispute over his contract. Running Wild with Bear Girls premiered on NBC in 2014. 2020 marks the show's fifth season. On the show, Girls takes A-list celebrities like Brie Larson, Shannon Tatum, and Army Hammer on outdoor adventures that push the pampered celebrities beyond their comfort zones. Reviews of the shows have called it a cross between Survivor and The Amazing Race. In 2020, Amazon Prime released Girls' latest show called The World's Toughest Race, Eco Challenge Fiji, which documents the world's toughest race in Fiji. 66 teams from 30 countries race non-stop 24 hours a day for 11 days across 416 miles of terrain in Fiji. Of course, Girls makes a point of hanging out in the helicopter during the show. The 10 episode series follows the competitors in a race as they hike, climb, bike, paddle, and climb over the mountains, through jungles and swamps, and across ocean waters. A total of 330 people took part in the competition. They were competing for a $100,000 cash prize. The average temperature during the event was 82 degrees. In July 2020, Girls announced that he was forming a digital network called the Bear Girls Digital Network. It was slated to launch this fall. The network will focus on the adventure and outdoor lifestyle program aimed at young audiences. Girls hopes to attract a new generation of viewers to his adventure filled lifestyle. Shows will be distributed across his social media channels including YouTube, Snap, Facebook, Instagram and more. His shows have been very successful and even features episodes with celebrities who face their scariest or wildest fears. Like Mel B known as Scary Spice on the Spice Girls who actually peed on Bear's hand after he got a jellyfish sting. Derek Zoolander aka Ben Stiller, Titanic's Kate Winslet, Kate Hudson, former US President Barack Obama, Shaquille O'Neal, Heartthrob Nick Jonas, Michael B. Jordan, Monica Geller, aka Courtney Cox, Jake Gyllenhaal, Will Ferrell, Julia Roberts, Joseph Gordon Levitt, Yao Ming, Zach Efron, and the list really goes on. Girls is the author of 15 books. He wrote six books about his extreme adventures. Girls also written series of five children adventure books in his Mission Survival series, and he's also written two novels in the thriller genre. He's also written a Christian book called Soul Fuel. On May 26, 1998, he fulfilled his lifelong dream of climbing to the summit of the Mount Everest just 18 months after breaking three vertebrates in the parachuting accident. His older sister and only sibling, Lara Fawcett, gave him the nickname Bear when he was just a week old. Girls married Shara Canning's knight in 2000. They have two sons, Marmaduke and Huckleberry. Girls, along with double amputee Al Hodginson and Scotman Freddie McDonald, set a Guinness World Record in 2008 for the longest continuing indoor freefall. The previous record was one hour and 36 minutes by a US team. Girls, Hodgson,
Milton and McDonald using a vertical wind tunnel in Milton Keynes broke the record by a few seconds. The attempt was in support of the charity Global Angels. Gross has been involved in charity work and has served as an ambassador for the Prince's Trust. Gross takes his nutrition seriously though. The Running Wild star discusses his dietary habits in a new interview with GQ, including why he stopped being a vegan. Though previously a big proponent of veganism, Gross says he's now super against nuts and against grains, wheats, and vegetables. They affected his mental health negatively and he was a massive advocate of the vegan lifestyle for years and wrote a book on it, but his health tanked in. He continues when he got sick a couple years ago during the pandemic and he doubled down on what he thought was healthy, which was raw juice, vegetables, and got mega sore kidneys and almost kidney stones. The more research I've done, I've noticed raw vegetables are really not good for you. So I've started incorporating quality grass-fed steak and liver. My lunch is meat, eggs, and dairy, a lot of butter and fruit. I have liver probably every other day. I started to get strong again, he said. Despite in his new anti-vegetable stance, Gross says he's not super strict, explaining, I changed my mindset away from vegetables are great to realizing we've had millions of years to evolve, where we were designed to eat meat and milk and eggs, and fruit sweet, bright colors and lots of honey. It made eating a lot more fun. He says, I have a combination of eggs fried in butter, Greek yogurt with honey and berries. Before I think, oh, I have to have a salad. It's a revolution to me. While out adventuring in his wilderness, Gross has eaten some unusual foods, but he generally stays away from that sort of stuff when he's at home. I've done so much over the years, drinking blood from a buffalo artery, munching on a raw liver and heart. It's not difficult, but it's not very pleasant, he admits. If I'm at home, I'm not going to be tucking into raw steak or liver. Food is a great pleasure and it can be cooked so beautifully. I tend to have it rare, but I like to have it cooked unless I'm in survivor mode. Asked what is the first food he likes to eat when getting back home from adventuring, Grill said, I like a burger from grass-fed mints with cheese and an egg on top, cooked in tallow, fry with some rice on it, a scoop of bone marrow, and a massive tub of Greek yogurt and honey with berries. If I was to have a treat, I'd have some cocktails and a sourdough pizza, maybe a good British roast, sticky toffee pudding, and freshly squeezed orange juice. I found eating like this, I can have fewer cravings. While the wild may be a familiar place for Bear to reside, he actually owns a home on an island with a proper roof over his head. In Wales, United Kingdom, Gross has a small private island retreat. The 20 acres are five miles offshore, but there's no running water or electricity there. A little lighthouse is located next to the house, and spectacular sea cliffs, seals, and dolphins are all around it. I don't know if he can really drive on there, but he does have a pretty neat car collection, which includes a Land Rover Defender, a Land Rover Discovery, and a Lincoln Navigator. He must have a boat. If any of you know what kind of boat he has, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite episode was. Let me know which celebrity you didn't think would make it through the wild. My name is Aaron. Thanks for checking out The Rich Life, and we'll see you soon.